Dude was Gucci, man. And I want y'all to look behind me, man. Behind me represents the phases, the greatest phases of Marvel history, MCU history. You dig what I'm saying? Um, with the constant decline, personally, with me liking the MCU, um, the comics, they just let the comics drain out, you know, the powers that are in control. I ain't going to say their name. I ain't going to speak their name right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to come to their events, but I'm just like boycotting them right now. Disney, you dig what I'm saying? Um, they on some fuck shit right now, and I ain't rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? And as you know, Disney has the properties to Marvel. You know what I'm saying? And all this shit right here is done, cuz. Like, that shit is done. We about to get a bunch of bullshit. If y'all didn't know, over the past, last week, with San Diego Comic Con, you know, a lot of movies were being revealed, but I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know everybody was waiting to see what they was going to do with the MCU. Phase 4, you know what I'm saying? Phase is over. The classic phase. Oh, I got to like the J for this, because, yeah, this shit, this shit is fucking wild, you know? So basically, Marvel Phase Four is around the corner, and as much as I hate what Marvel did with the end of that, the last phase, I had hope. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? It's movies that I want to see covered out of Marvel, covered up from the hits they be giving through Phase One through Three. I'm like, certain shit is about to pop up. You feel me? Slime. No, certain shit is not popping up. Everything that I did want is in this phase. I say that phase four is literally the phase nobody fucking wants, cuz. It's filled with representation. It's full of characters where it's basically money grabs. Cause I didn't like Black Panther and I didn't like Black Panther. Not more so cause of the movie, cause the movie was just okay. But just the after effect of how they like market it. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, if you gotta pay attention to this shit, they getting our money, Slim. And they're finding ways to do it. So they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna make Black Panther and parents to the black people. And we're gonna make Captain Marvel so we can parent to the women. Like, bruh, just make the movie based off the comics, stick to what the fuck is going on in the script. It's like Marvel, like, and you know what I'm saying? Tweak it. But stick to the fucking script, nigga. Stick to Spider-Man, nigga. It's no reason Tom Holland should ever sell his mouth that Spider-Man could be gay. Bruh, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Shut your mouth. You dig what I'm saying? Like, don't ruin Spider-Man. I'm telling you. And with the lot of stuff they switching up, you look at 007. You know what I'm saying? This is a free talking video for real. I really don't do this, but I just want to stuck with this object. Like, with 007. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't want the black woman to represent, but come on, man. Don't thrash these stories just to push a point you know what i'm saying because y'all y'all think y'all gonna win in the long run but if you don't have no pure intentions behind it it ain't gonna go nowhere you did but like i said phase four nobody was bro you know what i'm saying um uh, it's filled from where i was saying at comic con this phase about to be filled of characters that didn't have good story development. Nobody was fucking with them. So now they're going to force it down our throat. Bruh, nobody cares about Falcon, bruh. Nobody cares about Vision, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, come on, bruh. Y'all, y'all not going to keep trying to milk it. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all putting old characters in there that nobody wants, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, whack. Fucking whack. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm looking at the panels and some of the, like the uh I was looking at some of the panels, just different ones like the Eternals. They actually switched. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna I'm gonna go each one that each movie, each one what I think about it, but what I thought about the panel and what they were doing. But with the Eternals, they made the leader a girl. And then in the comments she wasn't a girl, and every fucking panel that a woman was on, the panel person saying it's a strong female. Like, why I gotta be all that, bruh? Just say that she's the leader, bruh. It don't have to be female, male. It got that's what's wrong with this time now. Everything is about race or gender. Or you know what I'm saying? Man or woman. Like, 
Like, dog, that's just make make good films, dog. Stop fucking putting the genders in and make good films. You feel what I'm saying? And one thing I really don't agree with is the fact that they're adding the LBGTQ community to these movies. Bruh, it's superheroes, bruh. If they wasn't gay in the comics, bruh, why are you making them gay, bruh? For fucking what? For what? You know what I'm saying? To pan into a personal thing, bruh. I know adults may see these movies. They may be for adults, but teenagers and kids grow up on superheroes. And if you pushing them type of messages in movies just to say representation, and then it's not even representing it right, you just brainwashing and poisoning the youth, young. And that's why I said, man, I'm telling y'all. It's going to be hard for me to support this phase four shit. And then, phase one through three, well, at least the phases, they were panned out three, four years. Now, they're going to brush everything in two. And then, they're like, oh, yeah, not only do you got to, we're going to rush these things in two years. You got to buy Disney Plus if you want to be hip to everything that's going on in the movies because it's going to be connected to the shows. So if you don't understand this is all a money grab, you're tripping. You dig what I'm saying? Like I said, I am not feeling phase four. But we're going to go each one. You know what I'm saying? Pat Bray ain't going to just, you know what I'm saying, scatter around. We're going to go by each movie. I'm going to go by each movie and what I think of them as they went. And you know what I'm saying? And in the MCU, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how they going to do phase four. I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm telling you, I was disappointed, bro. Like, real life, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe that they picked some of these movies. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go each, each, by each one. I'm going to show y'all a picture. Right here, The Eternals. Okay, I'm going to tell you about The Eternals, right? Only thing that I'm really excited for with the Eternals and seeing how bad Angela and Jolie is. I can't lie, I want to see some cosmic stuff because I love cosmic stuff ever since I got the Guardians of the Galaxy. But this is one thing I gotta realize. Nobody read the Eternals. Y'all can't keep trying to make movies, Marvel that is, and Disney. You can't keep trying to make movies all shit nobody fucking cares about, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it worked with the Guardians, but you got to look at the actors that were involved, the script that was read to it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's more than, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than who the person, people who were playing it, or how many Academy Awards they got, or if she's a strong female, or is this an SJW director? All that shit don't matter. Y'all got to stop trying to marvel and Disney trying to reciprocate things that you already did, man. Make something new, bruh. You know what I'm saying? That was the thing about Marvel that got me hooked with the MCU with the fact there was always something amazing around the corner. Even if I didn't catch that movie, when I caught it, I'm like, damn, that was amazing. You dig what I'm saying? So, The Eternals, you know what I'm saying? I'm okay about it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's different, but I'm just like, y'all try to give us Captain Marvel and say this, that, and the third, and it was trash. So, I'm like, I'm really afraid, you know what I'm saying? Especially with them switching the roles of the commander, the leader, you know what I'm saying, and making it a girl, and I don't even know none of the terms, so I'm not going to sit here and say I know anything about it, but that's what I'm saying, they need to stop making shit about shit nobody know about, mm -hmm. and they got a cast, only people I know of this cast, Ellie Jolie, the leader who's a Spanish woman, but I've seen her in other stuff, I don't know who she is, and then Paperboy, off that show with uh, Charles Gambino, I think it's called uh, Atlanta or whatever, Atlanta, Atlanta. I haven't ever watched it, but you know, you see everybody talking about this shit. I don't be hip to everything, man. I be in my own lane. But when it comes to the Eternals, no, I'm not excited. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I just feel like it's going to try to be like a Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing I think that can save it, me really, is Angelina Jolie. So if I had to give a grade to what I think about what the Eternals is going to be, shit, I'd give it probably a B minus. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to just ride it like say it, say it's going to be trash, but I don't got faith in it. I don't got hope in it. You know what I'm saying? Because Marvel always sights in something up and this shit trash. You dig? So that is what it is. Let's move to the next movie. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. 
you can't really see it, but the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you did. You can kind of see it. Bruh, I don't want this shit at all, bruh. First of all, they shouldn't have made fucking Anthony Mackie Captain America, bruh. Especially after that little Black Mirror shit, acting or not, nigga. Nah, bruh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. You ain't my Captain America. Now, I'm going to be real with you. If you read the comments, Winter Soldier becomes Cap 2. Not saying that Falcon does not too. But why, out of all people you could have given Captain America to, why don't you give it to the Super Soldier? The person that actually kind of has the same fucking powers as Captain America. The Chris Evans version. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are y'all thinking, bro? Like, bro. Like I said, they are trying to pander to an agenda. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna make Captain America black and the black people gonna show up. No, we not, bruh. Cause we don't wanna see that trash ass shit, bruh. What you talking about, bruh? Y'all ain't even build on Falcon's story, nothing, bruh. He's always been a nigga. He was getting his ass kicked in the first movie I ever seen him in. Other than that, he is a side character at best. They should have pushed Bucky to be Captain America and Falcon as a sidekick. Y'all you know, still could have did y'all thing, bruh. Come on, bruh. There's never a movie called with the Falcon name in it. What the fuck? Captain America, the Winter Soldier, nigga. Come on, dog. So, I'm gonna be real with you. Only reason why I get Disney Plus and watch this shit is because they fucking know that niggas love the MCU regardless. You know what I'm saying? But that other Disney shit, I don't care. I ain't see Lion King. Some shit I really would boycott and not see. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's going to be like that for Phase 4. But if I'm telling you, if I watch an episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and it's trash, I'm turning that shit off. I'm not watching. I don't care if it goes with the MCU. I don't care. So if I had to give a grade of how I feel about this show... And they said they already making his Captain America suit, so yes, he is going to be Captain America, bro. But don't be surprised. They never let the niggas stand on top too long. They're going to kill him off, I guarantee you. But I give this movie a fucking F. I don't want to see Captain the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. It will be forced. Let's go to the next movie. Chang Chi. I'm going to be real with you. I'm ready to see some hand-to-hand -hand combat in Marvel Studios. You know what I'm saying? I like that type of shit. I feel like it's intense. Um, the Legend of the Ten Rings. So I think they bringing back the Mandarin from Iron Man 3. The real Mandarin. You know what I'm saying? Not that fake shit. So I'm excited for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just excited to see a breath of fresh air with not just, uh, you know, like shields and Iron Mark suits and Visions and Hawkeye, you just got somebody doing straight on hand, hand combat. So that should be interesting, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really got nothing bad to say about it. I'm actually excited to see it, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely would give it like an A minus, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't know what Marvel would be on, you know what I'm saying? Or Disney, they be on some big, wild, dumb, goofy shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Holmes. So they'll do anything, Mo. They'll throw anything at you to throw you off, you know what I'm saying? So I'm giving it an A minus. I can't give it a solid A. Chan Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings. Next one. WandaVision. I'm gonna be real with you. I ain't gonna really say I don't wanna see this or I'm not excited for it. But at this point, I only wanna see what Wanda can do, bruh. Scarlet Witch was supposed to bend take the fuck off. She was supposed to be OP a long time ago. And people don't really know they were supposed to make Doctor Strange in her movie a long time ago, way before, way before, um, fucking, um, way before Captain Marvel, but they basically pushed Captain Marvel up past Wanda, past Scarlet Witch, and just made her the strongest, so I really want to see Wanda do her thing, because I really feel like she should have been OP. Vision, you came in OP, and they made that boy trash, yachty, trashery, garbage, stupid, what happened? Uh, uh, bruh, come on, cuz. Like, nobody want to see that Vision, nigga. <clears throat> I hope they kill him off again. And just for Vision being connected to this, 
WandaVision shit, he brought her grave down. You know what I'm saying? I don't even like the fucking name, WandaVision. This name is Scarlet Witch. And just have him as a side character. So, cuz of Vision, big blockity head ass. I only want to see WandaVision, my grade for that probably like a C plus and literally that shit, man. I'm not really excited to see it, but I know it's gonna tie into a movie that I do want to see that I'm gonna get to. So that's WandaVision. Um next we got Loki. I fuck with Loki, but when he died, they should just let that shit go. Just let it go, bro. Some shit I feel like they be milking. And I feel like they milking Thor and Lo Thor. Eh, look. Everybody in Thor, they are just milking their franchise. And that's the worst fucking one out of all of them. So it's like, if you was going to milk anything, you could have milked uh, Captain America. Shit. You couldn't even have milked Ant Man. I want more Ant Man. You know what I'm saying? And it may come in the future. You know, D D D23 is coming. In a couple weeks in August, you know what I'm saying? So they might reveal some more shit, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna say, but from this shit, no, we don't wanna see Loki, bro. He shouldn't even, he should have just been dead, bro. They should have left it at that, but they, Marvel and Disney, cannot stop reaching in the pockets of the people that really care about these comics, cuz, and these characters. So Loki hated it. I don't care about Loki. I promise you, I don't. And that's gonna get. A D. I'm going to give it a D because it might end up having some good episodes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But they saying they about to sprinkle LB, LB key. I don't even know how to say it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They about to sprinkle gay shit, uh, representation all over the movie. So they might make Loki gay, bruh. Or they make, might, might make Falcon and Winter Soldier gay. I pray they don't, bruh. Because they ruining this shit. For real. Real life fucking it up. So D. For Loki, because it might have some good episodes. But I'm telling you, if the episodes ain't good, bro. If the episodes ain't good, I ain't checking for it. Straight Destiny Child shit. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? We going to the next movie. But don't. That Doctor Strange, man. Multiverse of Madness. I like the multiverse shit. I like all that weird, uh, uh, different universe you know what I'm saying? Quantum shit. So I've been waiting for Doctor Strange to take the fuck off. You feel me? Because Doctor Strange 1 was lit. You know what I'm saying? I got put on to that movie. I didn't even know he was Wi-Fi lit like that. You know what I'm saying? And he was lit in his movie. So I'm actually excited to see him. And then somebody else is in this movie too. Wanda Scarlet Witch. Yeah, Elizabeth Austin. She will be like a second person like how Hulk was to uh, Thor. How Iron Man was a Spider-Man. I love movies when Marvel do that where they put somebody else in the movie. So, man, I'm excited to see the multiverse madness. I'm excited to see them get down with their OP power that they're going to be kicking ass. I already know. That's the only reason why I think I would watch WandaVision because I know it ties into that directly. So, you know what I'm saying? Doctor Strange, multiverse of madness is going to go crazy. I already know that. Even the, And they brought back the same director, so I already know it's going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? As long as Disney don't be trying to tank shit and keep writing the fucking checks and shutting up, then we got ourselves a winner. So I give definitely an A-plus. I'm ready to see Dr. Strange Multiverse and Madness. Okay, what if? What if is an animated series that they about to make about the watches, basically, you know what I'm saying, the nigga with the fat ass heads. Bro, we don't care about that, bro. Stop trying to jock Sony Steve's. We don't want to see nothing about the watches. If you was going to bring them in, you should have brought them in with Thanos and all that bullshit that you set us up for for 10 years for whack ass Endgame. And, bro, I don't care about what if. I'm not even talking about this because I don't fucking care, bro. I don't care. What if, bro? No, uh, bro. I'll, I'll look to YouTube to figure that out, bro. Uh, next. I don't care about that shit, bro. Okay, Hawkeye. And he a real, <laughs> he real. He ain't like nobody else shit but his. That's why I'm really going to fuck with Hawkeye. Now, I fuck with uh, Jeremy Renner off and on the court. So that already makes me want to see what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like Hawkeye with Kate Bishopry. You know what I'm saying? His daughtery. They about to be lit. I want to see that. You know what I'm saying? I want. They remind me of like Ant Man and his daughter. What they could be if they finished that. So Marvel set that up, please, man. Please, please set that up. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see Hawkeye come back. You know what I'm saying? They be sleeping on my man, and I'm mad. I'm glad he out here getting his check still. You know what I'm saying? I'm still glad that some of the original Avengers out here acting like motherfucking head honchos and now out here like 
fucking Chris Hemsworth just taking a check. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him, Hemsworth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As a handsome man myself, recognize another handsome man, and he out here just taking a check out of like a hoe, doing these whack ass roles, boy. You ain't big time this, but I ain't get, I ain't gonna get there yet. But Hawkeye, I'm ready to see that. I'll give it a B plus. I ain't geeking, geeking, but yeah, I'll pay it in my some mind. So the Hawkeye series, and that'll be on Disney Plus. Um, Loki will be on Disney Plus. WandaVision will be on Disney Plus, and Falcon and Winter Soldier will be on Disney Plus. Eternals will be in the movies, Shang-Chi, the movies, um, Doctor Strange 2, the movies, what if, I don't care, I'm skipping it again. Now let me let lead you to the last three as we go to the last three, man. Thor, Love, and Thunder. Son, they can suck my dick, bro. They can stay ruined Thor, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Chris Hemsworth allowed that shit. Him and Tessa Thompson suck in movies, straight like that. Um... They got her on stage talking about, yeah, I need my queen. She directly said that she's going to be gay in this movie, bro. Bro, they literally took Thor movie from Kiss Hemsworth. Thor, what the fuck? So, now we got to listen to Tessa Thompson talk about how she's going to be gay. Thor's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stick a hammer in my butt. That's basically what he might as well should have said. You know what I'm saying? Since they ruined him and you know, making him fat. So I'm like making them fat and funny. They turned Thor into a fat, funny nigga. That is crazy, man. Um, okay. Now I calm down. Not only they bring Natalie Portman's two faced ass on the stage. When I seen her, I said, I know this snake is not on the stage. This is the same one giving everybody a hard time. The same one that didn't want to be in the MCU, but now all of a sudden when them checks looking good, baby girl says she gonna pop out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, they think we're fucking stupid. When I seen she pop back out, immediately you knew. See, in the comments when you sort of. I don't really know about this comment, but you know what I'm saying? I, 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 got, I done got hit with this shit over the years about Jane Foster. So, I know she's a Thor because she's a girl Thor. Because she got cancer and like the shit. She ended up like getting the power from Odin and shit or whatever from Asgard. You know what I'm saying? To save her from the cancer and shit. And she just ended up being Thor. Thor gave her stamp some whack comment that some wild motherfucker made that still making Thor look wild. Nobody wants a girl Thor, bruh. Nobody wanted that, bruh. Like, literally nobody. Look, it's like nobody. Disney, they give us girl Thor, bruh. They don't care about fans at all, bruh. Marvel don't care about who the people who are watching their shit no more, bruh. They are literally Thor, Love, and Thunder. And when I heard that, I said, this sound like a gay porno flick. This would that sound like, a gay porno flick. And that's exactly what this is going to be. Thor still not going to get no butt. He's going to get the realm of Thor taken from. Then they handed her Mjolnir on stage at Comic-Con. I said, oh, yeah, they just saying fuck y'all at this point. They don't even care. They don't even care. So if you think they care, oh, if you think they care about what we want, they don't. Thor, Love and Thunder is a terrible name. There should be no girl Thor. They are fucking stupid for that. Chris Hemsworth need to stop being... A sucker and taking these wild roles. You know what I'm saying? I know you didn't want to be serious. If you didn't want to be serious, bro, you should just left the franchise, bro. Thor is an almighty character because he's a god in the comics. They are ruining Thor for the entertainment of these dweebs. The fuck out of here, bro. Man, let's go to the next one. F, bro. Fuck Thor, Love, and Thunder, bro. That's why I didn't see Ragnarok, Ragnarok at first. I was like, what the fuck is this? Don't even want no Thor. Then I seen that. I like Ragnarok. I think it's funny, but they going for part two, and that's trashy. Not classy. Okay, next movie. So that's an F. Next movie coming out in theaters as well as Thor Thunder, Black Widow. I mean, Black Widow is cool. I'm going to go see it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be real with you because I love Scar Joe. But they. You know what I'm saying? She and her little beefs and fuck all them. If you beef from her, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she shouldn't have backtracked on that shit. She should have kept it 1,000 and said, whatever. You can you can murder me on the internet, but it ain't doing nothing to my pockets in real life. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you you should be able to have stand by what you say. You know what I'm saying? So, Black Widow is seven years too late, bro. Like I don't care no more, bro. Like about really her story, but I just fuck with the character. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go see it because the character, but bro, y'all seven years too late. Y'all disrespect it. Y'all put Captain Marvel before Black Widow, who when the Avengers and Endgame shut down, fucking had to run. That shit. Endgame was trash. She had to run. She sacrificed herself and it meant nothing, bruh. It meant nothing, bruh. Trash, man. So, I'm hoping they just redeem her and make a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Just make a great movie for Scar Jo. Just, just for her legacy. You know what I'm saying? And I believe they are. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. I'm not expecting nothing hot. You know what I'm saying? Because they late on that shit. So, like I said... I'll give it a A minus, you know what I'm saying? That's coming out the theaters. Now, hmm. Hmm. We go to the last one. The most shocking one, which shocked everybody, was as you see, Blade. Um, it was shocking. It was like, oh, Blade cool. My man Kai Mouth, uh, I think it's I'm gonna call him Marsha Ali. You know what I'm saying? He a good actor. You know what I'm saying? So I know he can do Blade. You know what I'm saying? I know he can kill Blade. But um, if it's not going to be rated R, it ain't going to... You can make a good PG-13 movie, Blade, but that rated R, we already been got it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't go back. Go forward, bro. Make that shit R. And then add the MCU element, but... Man, Disney is not trying to keep that shit. Our movies connected. They like keep that shit over at Fox. You know what I'm saying? So they making it hard. You know what I'm saying? Trying to appease to every crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I understand that, but have something for the kids that can go see PG-13, and then have something for the fans that's like older. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Disney and Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Because Blade, I'm. I'm not really excited for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to watch it because I haven't... I like Blade and I haven't seen it in a while. You know what I'm saying? On TV or anything. So it's going to be exciting to see Blade in the movie and my man Ali getting a check. But, you know, if it's PG-13, it's just going to have a bad taste to it. I already know that. You know what I'm saying? Because we do seen heads rolling off. You, man, if you've seen Blade, you know how Blade is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm really, I give it a grade of seeing that in the movies when it comes out. And right, it's going to be two years. It's going to be quick as shit. So don't be expecting for big weights. They now that they know they can get that money fast, how they did with Endgame, the Infinity War shit. Oh, they going to milk. They going to try to milky, milky. Fact though. So I give seeing Blade a B. And I'm giving that all the strength he did. But, you know, I just. I just really just don't like the way where they're going, what they're doing. I just really hope that some good directors out here to make these movies that are going to make these movies. Because, man, Marvel and Disney, man, that shit's getting trashy, man. It's getting trashier and trashier. And it's upsetting, you know what I'm saying? Like, Spider-Man was good, but Sony had their hands in that, bro. So, and Disney, but, you know what I'm saying, it was really Sony property. So it's just like, it's just disappointing to see how they just like, and then how everybody just eating this shit up. They eating it, eating it, eating it, eating it. Everybody just on dicks. Y'all dweebs and nerds need to get all fucking dicks and just be real, man. And want real content, real quality and not quantity. You dig what I'm saying? So, man, Marvel Phase 4 does not get a lot of us up. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why I get a lot of us up is because I'm hitting this J. <laughs> But Marvel Phase Four gets a thumbs down, man. You gonna see what they do, man. And this is my opinion. You can have yours, man. Like, subscribe, comment. You know what I'm saying? Leave your thoughts. It's Pat Brady, man. It's Marvelous Blunts, and I'm smiling. It is.